Hey, my name is Al, and today we're taking a look at Maya 2024 because they've added some new buttons that really help speed up the IPR, you know, the, the real-time render, so to speak. This isn't really real-time rendering, but it's very fast and very helpful. We've got this microphone that I modeled. we got a backdrop. We have one area light. We have a camera that's locked, and I have my two views over here. The things that we're going to look at are these buttons right now. Typically in the past, in order to get the real-time rendering, we would go up here to press IPR. So if IPR is new to you, you press this, opens up this little window. We don't necessarily have to use this. I like to press two views, look through my camera, and they gave us this start and stop Arnold in the viewport. Now, this is the same thing as going here, which is the old way renderer, change it from 2.0, which is what you've been in the whole time, to Arnold, or we can just press this button. I like this, super handy, we can just turn this on. Now, what this is doing, it tells us, hey, these are our render settings. We can change those here under the Arnold renderer tab. You'll notice three, two, 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 those are all set up here. So if it's taking too long to load, uh, we can lower this, but we've got some other options here. Well, let me show you what I mean by real-time rendering. So I'm going to move this light further away and you'll notice that it's updating instantly. As soon as I start moving this, it's really blurry and then it like loads and renders to the setting. One thing that's nice is currently I'm just using the split viewport. So this is the resolution that it's rendering. It's really low resolution, but that's all I need right now, especially if I am just like playing around with lights, playing with ideas. This is super helpful. So let's take this light. Let's do that. Let's duplicate the light, scooch it over and change the color just for fun. And then we can very quickly investigate and see. Moving on, we know this turns this on and off. Right next to it, we have prop window. This is super helpful when you have the camera locked like I do because I can press this button. And maybe I just want to focus on, you know, that fill light or that rim light. So currently I'm using the CPU and all of my CPU is focused right here. So previously it took, you know, a few seconds to render in its entirety. But with this crop window, uh, it is done pretty much instantly. So this is super, super great if you're working with materials, if you're trying to nail down lights, things like that. We can just focus here because I don't really need Maya to calculate everything else over here right now. Moving on, we can look right here. This is set view viewport render resolution. If I click this, by default, it's set to 100. But if I want to speed things up and I don't really want to change my render settings, I could do 50%. All this is doing is changing the resolution here. So it's just a lower resolution image, which in turn is going to render uh, more quickly. But that's super handy because speed is super, super powerful powerful when it comes to this stuff. If I'm just playing around with lights, like I said, I don't necessarily need the highest resolution image in the world. I would prefer performance while I do my adjustments, concepting this look dev, trying to make things look a little bit more interesting with my light. But to me, this is just a quicker, more intuitive way uh, to do that IPR. We've got lots of nice settings and controls right here at our disposal. We don't really have to fumble with settings or anything like that. 